Hello everyone, it's Brother Rod. I pray and hope that everyone is doing well and that the families and everyone is healthy. You know, uh, I know we're all quarantined and it made me think of a story of a little boy named Andrew and uh, his father and mother had another child, uh, had another boy. And when they finally brought the little kid home from, from the hospital, uh, they were all in the room looking at the little boy and little Michael said to his mother and father, can I talk to him? And his mom and dad said, sure, you can talk to your little brother. And then he looked at his parents again and said, can I talk to them alone? And they sort of looked at each other and thought, well, I guess it'll be okay. We'll just stand at the door and crack the door and make sure we hear what he's saying. And as they exit the room, Michael leaned into his little brother ear and asked, who is our father? And why did he send us here? I'm starting to forget. And you know, as you think of that, as you have aged, that um, it's easy to forget who our father is and why we're here. In fact, in the, in the book, in the Bible, in Jeremiah chapter one, verse five, God said this to Jeremiah, before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Before you were even placed into and born into this earth, I sanctified you. And that is so encouraging for us today in that God has said to him, and it implies to us today that he knew at this time and for this reason that we would be here. You know, it, it's of course can also be intimidating and fearing with, with what we're faced because we can't see it. It's an invisible enemy and fear can just kind of get its control of you if you, just, if you don't root and ground yourself in the scriptures and what God says in his word. Uh, I'm reminded of a quote from Corey Tim Boone, who if you ever saw the movie or read the book, The Hiding Place, it was based upon her life and her family. Uh, she said that never be afraid to trust an unknown future to a known God. Let me say that again. Never be afraid to trust an unknown future to a known God. And if you know God as your personal savior, and I hope and pray that you do, you never have to be afraid of an unknown future. Matthew 5, 16 says, uh, Jesus was talking to his disciple. He says, you are the light of the world. A city that's set on a hill that cannot be hid. In other words, I put you here at this time for this reason, for this purpose, long before I ever brought you into the world through your mother's womb. How wonderful and how encouraging that is as a believer to know that even before COVID, uh, thereafter, for this reason, for this time, let your light so shine therefore before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. That is our call. That is our uh, purpose for being here. So therefore, let me encourage you. And remember, always, always shine bright like a Christian. Thank you.